Diffraction. Diffraction is a wave phenomenon in which the apparent bending and spreading of waves when they meet an obstruction. Diffraction occurs with electromagnetic waves, such as light and radio waves, and also in sound waves and water waves. The most conceptually simple example of diffraction is double slit diffraction, that's why firstly we remember light diffraction. Light diffraction. Light diffraction is caused by light bending around the edge of an object. The interference pattern of bright and dark lines from the diffraction experiment can only be explained by the additive nature of waves. Wave peaks can add together to make a brighter light, or a peak and day three will cancel each other out and result in darkness. Example of light diffraction. Thus Young's light interference experiment proves that light has wave-like properties. Diffraction from a particle and solid single particle. To understand diffraction we also have to consider what happens when a wave interacts with a single particle. The particle scatters the incident beam uniformly in all directions. Solid material. What happens if the beam is incident on solid material? If we consider a crystalline material, the scattered beams may add together in a few directions and reinforce each other to give diffracted beams. Diffraction of waves by crystals. A crystal is a periodic structure, unit cells are repeated regularly, solid state physics deals how the waves are propagated through such periodic structures. The general principles will be the same for each type of waves. The diffraction depends on the crystal structure and on the wavelength. At optical wavelengths such as 5000 angstroms the superposition of the waves scattered elastically by the individual atoms of a crystal results in ordinary optical refraction. When the wavelength of the radiation is comparable with or smaller than the lattice constant, one can find diffracted beams in directions quite different from the incident radiation. Importance of diffraction the structure of a crystal can be determined by studying the diffraction pattern of a beam of radiation incident on the crystal. Beam diffraction takes place only in certain specific directions, much as light is diffracted by a grating. By measuring the directions of the diffraction and the corresponding intensities, one obtains information concerning the crystal structure responsible for diffraction.